so it's pretty bright out here but um, it's a couple of days later after I put the little guys in the incubator and I didn't actually weigh them then so that was the day before yesterday and um, I got really busy yesterday so I didn't weigh them but we're gonna weigh them today and kind of see if they're on track for where they need to be and set kind of the the baseline so we know if they're doing well or kind of what's happening with them um, I am a little reticent to put <clears throat> this stuff on video because you know it's like what if it doesn't turn out um, then it's it's a lot of sadness instead of me being sad uh, Hank actually he was uh, he had three eggs that I got in his batch and um, he was the only one that hatched so I think the normal rate is probably Hank is probably like uh, 60 to 80 percent is what I've heard and so you know if that's the case we could get two to three of the four um, that would hatch so that'd be great and hopefully we get a girlfriend for Hank but you know it's kind of like being in your first trimester of uh, being pregnant you don't tell anybody just in case uh, so you don't have to deal with that but um, you know we've decided we're gonna we're gonna share our kind of journey for this all the way through and kind of document the incubation process and how it's going and you know obviously how it went um, at the end so we're on day three I guess of about 50 to 60 days and we'll see how it goes so we're gonna go weigh those guys and kind of get our baselines established okay so we've been a a little slow getting this going it is two days later and what we're gonna do is do some numbering here so we know which egg is which So emu eggs over the incubation period are supposed to lose about 15% of their weight. And so what, what I've done is to put together a little spreadsheet. Probably can't see that very well. But basically it has each egg and the, wait, the weeks till incubation should be over. And sort of, uh, it'll, I know what the weight based on the, the initial weigh-in, what it should be at about 50 days. So <clears throat> basically if it's losing too much weight then I need to increase humidity if it's losing not enough weight then I need to decrease humidity so this here is egg number one boy they feel heavy they feel really heavy Come on, little guy. Okay. So I need this to be um, grams. So I don't know, but I think that's really heavy. 641 grams. So week one egg one is 641 grams okay 
All right, so you're going to go back there. And we'll make you number two. So this one is 602. The, um, the incubator I have, the Ova Easy, uh, does, it rotates to about, I don't know, it's not 90 degrees, it's like 50 degrees. And then it will rotate this way 50 degrees, like every 30 minutes. And so, is that zero? And so they get, you know, some oscillation, but from what I've, what I understand is you should go ahead and turn them to, uh, every once in a while to, it has something to do with their oxygen absorption. So that guy, number three is 580. Why are you so big? <laughs> You're a big egg. You're going to be... I don't know if that means he'll be a big emu. But... I mean, it's got to be some indication, right? And this one's special because he has white paint on him. <laughs> he might be called Whitey. <clears throat> if he... I shouldn't even talk like that. If he makes it out of here. Oh, good lord. So Whitey is 623, 623, okay, so like I said, I should have weighed him, I guess uh, not yesterday, but the day before is when they came in, um, that was the 6th of January. And now it's the 8th. So they probably, hopefully they've lost a little bit of weight um, in that two days since I've been incubating them. I did, I, I remembered afterwards that you're supposed to let them sit for eight hours after they come into the mail. And I didn't. Um, but they had been sitting in the post office, which was not super cold, but a little cold. So hopefully I didn't mess anything up there. So we've got our, once I put this into the computer, this will calculate what the rest of the weight should be if they, by the end of the time, lose 15%. So at 600 grams, it's pretty easy. Because 15% of that would be, uh, they would lose about 90 grams through the process, which is about 11, 12 grams per week as they're going down. So, um, and it, hopefully I've got my math right in here so that it, it'll calculate that automatically. So there's our incubator the Ova Easy, and I'm seeing, so this temperature is set for 97.5, which is kind of what people say, um, but I've got a little digital one here that's reading about 97, and so I've got to kind of work that out. <laughs> I did notice just a second ago before I took these out, that the humidity is down to about 30%, which is too low. So, you guys go back in there, and then it's got this little tray here, which you can put water in to increase the humidity a little bit. So let's get this cleaned out. In the past, like when I did Hank, he was in this same incubator. And I ended up not putting 
any water in this at all. I don't know if it was just more humid. Uh, back then when Hank was a baby. Or what. But the humidity was always around 40%. Now Austin is pretty humid as a rule. We have a pretty humid climate here. Sometimes it can be 80% humidity depending on the time of year. Right now it's uh, it's not that. It's pretty dry right now so I always forget the combination. Okay so there's that thing I mean, it goes at a pretty good angle. You're kind of like, ooh, you fall out of there. But they don't. I guess they got that worked out. So just from a little bit of water in there, the humidity is already climbing. So it's at 37%. It's amazing how quickly the humidity climbs, 38%. Gosh, that's so weird. I guess, <clears throat> you know, it's moving air in there. So I also heard that um, you should be kind of opening that door two or three times a day. I think these Ova Easy's probably have a lot of, uh, you know, they pull a lot of good air in. There's a huge fan that blows through there. You can feel it in there. Um, I'm also curious as to, because the fan blows right there, so if I put them on top, is it actually going to be a little hotter than if they were down here? So, yeah, so it's up to 40% already on the humidity. And this guy, so it went down, obviously, but it's now back up to 88 <clears throat> You can see on here it's set to 97 point. Uh, oh, that's it's climbing there too. So it's set at 97.5. So and I'm going to get a separate humidity sensor as well, just to check on that. <clears throat> so I talked to Hank yesterday. He's extremely excited about uh, what we've got going here. He wanted to come in and look, but this is a slippery floor. I think he would fall down or at least make a mess. So uh, we're gonna, this is our, this is our spreadsheet here. So I'll put these numbers actually in to the spreadsheet. And once I do, it'll calculate the rest of this. It'll calculate the 15% <clears throat> by around week eight. Um, so 641, I think that's big. We'll call him big. Um, and the rest of these are more normal. Um, one of Hank's brothers or sisters that did not hatch was lower like this. I think uh, he or she was about 580. Um, he had two siblings that didn't hatch. So, yeah, we'll keep, uh, keep a close eye on things and see what happens.